Hi, I'm Jason Sun, curator of Chinese art. Welcome to the Metropolitan Museum to celebrate the Lunar New Year with us. By the lunar calendar, February 1st marks the beginning of the Year of the Tiger. We are pleased to present an exhibition celebrating the Year of the Tiger with a remarkable selection of works from the museum's permanent collection and also a few fantastic loans. A most striking work, it is highly animated figure of a tiger from the 18th century made of porcelain with colorful glazes. It's from a set of 12 zodiac animals that used to decorate a house and symbolically to protect the residents from harm. This is a very, very animated tiger. He's waving his muscled arms and opens his mouth wide as if he were saying, I'm the guardian of the house. There you come close. In China, the association of 12 zodiac animals with the calendar has a long history of more than 2,000 years. An excellent example is this set of the 12 animals from the Tang Dynasty, the 8th century, which were made of pottery. They were originally painted with bright colors. Like the example I'm showing here on the right, that archaeologists found in northwestern China in recent years. But unfortunately, after being buried in the ground for more than a thousand years, these figures have lost all their original pigments except a white slip that was the base for the colors. These figures illustrate the 12 animals in a standard sequence. They are from left to right, the rat, the ox, the tiger, the rabbit, the dragon, the snake, the horse, the sheep, the monkey, the rooster, the dog, and the pig. Each one is dressed in a long robe, like an official standing before the emperor at an audience court. In the lunar calendar, each animal is paired with a given year that repeats in a 12-year cycle, and each animal is believed to embody certain traits that are shown in the character or the personality of the person born in that year. For example, the tiger is characterized as authoritative, brave, resolute, and robust. Tigers have been closely associated with human life for thousands of years. This marble sculpture of a tiger is from the Western Zhou Dynasty about 11th to 9th century BC. The artist had made smart use of the natural pattern of black and white veins in stone to represent the striped coat of an animal. Another work of ingenious design is a 2nd century BC bronze tiger in a reclining posture. When the hinged back of this powerful animal is opened, it becomes an oil lamp with a tray for a wick to connect to the reservoir in the tiger's hollow body. From the 3rd century BC onward, the tiger became an important element in Chinese cosmology. It symbolizes the west of the four cardinal directions. The other three animals are the dragon on the east, the magic bird for the south, and the intertwined turtle and snake for the north. They were depicted on many places. For example, they were, they were depicted on walls of buildings, molded bricks, or roof tiles as shown here in the picture to protect the living. And they were also depicted on architectural parts of tomb chambers to guard the deceased in their afterlife. 
during the Ming and Qing dynasties from the 14th to the 19th century, government officials wore square badges sewn on the front of their robes. These badges were embroidered with birds for civil officials and with animals for military officers. Each bird or animal corresponding to a certain rank. As a symbol of authority and bravery, the tiger adorned the badge of a senior military commander. The tiger is a very, very popular figure in Chinese folklore. It is the king of wild animals and also the exotic mount for many deities. For example, the god of wealth rides on the back of the tiger. He holds a gold ingot, which is a symbol of wealth, in his left hand, and a gnarled steel bar, which is his signature weapon, in his right hand. He travels between heaven and earth and brings good fortune to those who have been kind and have done good work. Let's hope in the coming year of the tiger, he'll drive away the pandemic and bring health, wealth, prosperity, and happiness to all. Thank you for watching.